All right, hey y'all, welcome to my channel. So this is gonna be, hopefully, if I don't blab the whole time, a quick video, but I get this, I don't know why I haven't made it, but I get this um, question a lot, and that's basically why do I either take out my extensions? So whether it's wigs or clip-ins, every single night, I don't sleep in my wigs, you guys. I don't sleep in any kind of extra hair unless it's taking me hours to put it in. So unless I have like braids in or twists in, something along those lines. But regular extensions like this, um, I take it out every single night. I'm gonna get into those reasons why. So let's, yeah, let's just jump right into it. I'm gonna show you guys exactly how I remove my wigs. It's very simple, it's very easy, but I still just want to show you. So stay tuned for that at the end of this video. But I do have five reasons why I take off my wigs um, and extensions. Starting with number one, and that is my sleep is very precious to me. I <laughs> say what you want, but <laughs> I love my sleep when I can get it. It's very hard for me to fall asleep in the first place. I don't really like stuff on my head at night, so I don't even sleep with a bonnet. I only sleep with sleep with a silk pillowcase in the first place. So anything extra on my head is just uncomfortable for me. I know it's there, I'm thinking about it. I just don't like it, so I choose to just remove it. Also, if I do wear it, I'm constantly worried if it's gonna come off, am I like sleeping too rough, I have to be still. Like I can't just spread out, I can't just sleep how I want to nice and comfortably. I'm kind of thinking in the back of my head, it's kind of like when you just get your hair done, like if you were, you know, like a child and stuff, um, you know, you have to sleep the right way and all that kind of stuff so you don't mess up your hair. So I just say forget it, I'm not doing it, and I take it off at night. So my second reason applies more to clip-ins versus wigs, unless you're using the wig combs as well as like an adhesive, um, then this applies all the way around. But when you're wearing your clip-ins and you're wearing them for multiple days at a time, that's tension on that particular spot. You're not giving it a break, you're constantly pulling. When I started to wear units, when I started to wear my wigs, I used the clips that come with them because I wasn't quite I wasn't confident yet with just the adhesive and how I put it on. And so I just wanted that extra security and that makes complete sense. So if you're doing that and you're a newbie, it makes sense. We've all been there, we've all done it. However, I don't recommend sleeping in it because, or even using the clips all the time, because again, that's tension, that's friction, and that's pulling. Over time, because I kept using my um, clips for my units, in this, I mean, they're in the same spot, so that like area, like right back here, started to thin for me really, it was really noticeable, and I didn't really understand why it was happening. Um, when I started wearing units, it was after Isaiah, so I just kind of blamed him a little bit, but really, it was me. And the same thing with clip-ins, y'all. Um, that's kind of how I feel about them, that's why I don't wear them. I feel like if you start doing that and you develop that habit of just not taking them out, then, it, I mean, it saves time the next day or the next couple days or whatever. Um, but just be aware that it may end up thinning out that area, especially if you're doing it for a long span of time. Now, if you have an event, if you're out of town, let's say you're in a wedding this summer and you know you've got things going on like this day and that day or something like that, maybe two days in a row, I would go ahead and sleep with them. I don't think that's a problem. I don't think that's gonna cause um, a lot of damage or anything like that. It's gonna save you some time. And the last thing you wanna worry about is your hair when you have something, you know, very important going on. So I say something like that, yeah, go for it. But if you're just at home and it's just your everyday, I say take them out. So going into my third reason, you guys, I just kind of figure when it comes to my hairline, the less friction and the less amount of time, the better. You shouldn't be placing the wig directly on your hairline. Sometimes that happens to me because I, it just slides back and blah, 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 blah. Even with the ball cap method, there's still friction on top of your actual hairline. You guys get what I'm trying to say? I just feel like the less thing that's on my hairline because it's such a delicate area, you have to be super gentle with it and the least amount of time, the better. Yes, it does take longer. Again, it's gonna take longer for you to get ready every single day. You don't have to apply hairspray 
um, especially if you're taking your wigs off at night. You don't have to apply hairspray every day. You could just use some mousse. Um, it also depends on what kind of unit you're wearing as well. So if you're wearing something with a super clear crystal kind of lace, um, that helps tremendously. I just feel like wigs are such a great tool to use to help your hair grow back, but you still have to be careful, you know, when putting them on and taking them off as well. Number four, you guys, is I can still take care of my natural hair underneath and not really miss a beat unless I'm just being lazy and I purposely just don't do anything. I care about my natural hair more than I care about these wigs. Every single day I can just moisturize, seal, give myself a little scalp massage if I need to. I don't have to wait until the end of the week. I don't have to do this and that and then I forget and then it doesn't happen. Hair care underneath a protective style, especially your wigs, clip-ins, those kind of things, it really, any protective style is so important. Like you can't miss it. It's kind of pointless if you don't do it and you're expecting, it's like you're expecting growth. You're expecting these wigs and, and this and that, all these protective styles to give you some growth, to give you some thickness, but you're not maintaining your hair underneath them. It's a waste of time. It's just a total waste of time. Unless you just don't care about your natural hair, you plan on wearing wigs, from here until you die, then okay, then don't care about your hair care. But yeah, but that's another reason why I remove my wigs every single night. So my last point really quickly, you guys, is pretty important. And that's basically, I take my wigs off to remind myself that I look good without them. I don't know what else to say. <laughs> it's just so easy to get caught up and just the physical you know what i mean just how we look and and everything that we add to ourselves to make us look our best if you guys get what i'm trying to say um i just take my wigs off to be like i could rock my natural hair i could rock this i look good either way and that really helps you to stay comfortable with yourself um i see a lot of women these days a lot of y'all out there who are not comfortable and you can tell you can tell you're not comfortable it's kind of like like wearing heavy makeup every day you know what i mean it's kind of like if you don't have it on because i used to feel that way um a long time ago i would literally put so much foundation and stuff on and i lived in houston in 100 degree weather face just melting because i wasn't very secure with my skin. I didn't really like how it looked. Now I just don't even care because I just I just know I'm beautiful either way. So <laughs> hair is such a big thing. It's our crown, right? Within the black community and just women, period. Um, I think it's still important to know just who you are naturally, honestly. And the enhancements are good. Like I'm all for enhancement, whether it's hair, whether it's fillers, because I want some of them in the next couple months, whether it's this and that or whatever, whatever you want to do it to your body is totally up to you. Y'all get the point. Just want to be me and just be still be comfortable with myself um, every single day. But yeah, you guys, that's it. That's basically why I take off my units. Nothing like crazy, nothing super deep, kind of. But from here, I wanted to show you all just how I remove my units super quick. It probably takes me like 30 seconds, if that. And then I'll show you um, how I take care of my hairline and some aftercare. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't go anywhere. Let's, let's keep this video going. All right, you guys. So looking a little busted at the end of the day. I was so ready to take this unit off. So I'm just grabbing my spray bottle. It's only filled with water. And this is the most important part. It's super basic, super easy, but you have to saturate your entire hairline. And this is just for hairspray. So keep that in mind. I only use hairspray um, on my units. And I really saturate it to the point it is really running off of my face. I do this every single time. And because I use a regular wig cap, I don't do the ball cap method. I spray the water kind of going backwards into my actual hairline, just in case any um, product hairspray got on, you know, it just moved this way back, which happens. And you really want to wait until the wig 
can just fall off of your head if you just bend over. Um, do not start to pull it off or anything like that, especially when you have um, still some adhesive on it. You just don't wanna rush this step. So next, I've taken my shower, I've washed my face, all that good stuff, and I'm just using my toner that I use for my um, face, and I'm gonna use that around my hairline as well. I do get, sometimes I can get little breakouts at the hairline just from not cleansing properly. So you see me kind of wiping backwards into my hairline using my toner, making sure I got all the makeup residue, all that stuff out. So just a little bit of hair care. I keep this super simple. I'm just using my Basque moisturizing cream. So anything that's gonna add moisture and I just use a tiny bit of that, put that on um, right in the front on my hairline to add that moisture back in because hairspray has alcohol and tension and stuff. After wearing a wig, I try not to ever miss this step with adding some moisture back into my hairline. And then I'm just taking four dots of my oil. This has Jamaican black castor oil, olive oil, um, jojoba oil, everything kind of mixed into it and just adding that to my hairline and giving it a massage if it needs to. And for the purpose of this video, I just added a scarf um, um, just because I know most people wear them. But like I said, I, I do not. I just go ahead and go to bed. So that is it, you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will talk to you guys in my next one. Bye.